Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from Matthew chapter 17, verse 27. Matthew 17, 27. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. Jesus Christ gave this counsel to Peter. Because that time the people came to Peter and asked him whether your master is paying tax or not. When Peter came inside the house, immediately Jesus told, Go to the sea and cast your hook and take the first to fish and open its mouth. You will see a, uh, you will see a money in that piece of money in that mouth. Then pay that money for you and me. See the miracle of Jesus Christ. It's very, very difficult to see a money in the fish mouth. But Jesus told, you go and cast your hook and the, whatever the fish first you catch, you will see the money in, in its mouth. Not only that, Jesus told, pay that money as a tax for me and you. That means for Jesus and Peter. Why Jesus had to take care of Peter's tax because Peter is the one going to cast the hook for Jesus and catch the fish for Jesus and find the money for Jesus. Whatever you do for Jesus, you will have a reward for it. Peter is the one going to cast the hook. So Jesus took care of his tax also. If you are serving God, if you are doing something for Jesus, maybe you are praying for your church, will see a reward for that. Maybe you are supporting some ministers, servants of God, you will see a reward for it. Maybe you are taking part some ministry in, 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 your, in, in your church or in any other missionary organization, God will bless you. Whatever you are sowing for Jesus, whatever you are doing for Jesus, you will see the reward for it. Jesus took care of Peter's need. The same Jesus is alive today. He will take care of your financial needs also. He will do a financial miracle in your life also. So be encouraged. Jesus is with you. He will take care of all your needs. Shall we do a prayer? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for listening to us. Lord Jesus, let this day be a blessed day. Thank you for your miracles in our life. Lord, we need your counsel and also we need your financial miracle. Meet all the needs of your people, Lord. Let them see your mighty hand. Lord Jesus, you honor them, you encourage them. Lord, especially I pray for the people, those are serving you, whether they are doing full-time ministry or part-time ministry, doesn't matter, Lord. You meet all the needs of God. Lord, do financial miracle, Lord. Lord, you, you are not a debtor to anyone. Lord Jesus, you will honor your people. We believe that, Lord. Bless them. Especially, I pray for a financial miracle. Meet all the needs of God. Do wonders and miracles. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.